the Old West ride with the wild Mustang. But so does a very uncertain future. For man has nearly driven these beautiful living symbols of our pioneer America to extinction. Fifty to sixty million pronghorns roaming the prairies of America. Now there are less than five hundred thousand. It's amazing that they're the fastest animals in America. They can, at ten days old, they can run faster than a man. You do. Sixty miles per hour. During pioneer times, there were fifty to sixty. What the hell is that now? You guys, when fully grown, stand six feet tall at the shoulder and weigh as much as two thousand pounds. Oh come on! You're kidding me! Would you? They can run fast too. Up to 30 miles per hour. You gotta be kidding me! They can run fast. At one time, their numbers were 60 million strong. Oh, no. That was before the white man moved west. In 1830, buffalo skin robes became so popular in the east, many hunters boasted that they could kill over 200 buffalo every day. Oh, no. By 1872, about seven million buffalo were left in North America. Twenty years later. The American buffalo is nearly extinct. Less than 20 of them have survived. If the state called and don't be upset about it. If the, if the Book of Enoch was part of the scriptures, then why didn't you accept the Book of Enoch as scripture? Then were you crazed or something? You do who? The gray wolf was feared by early settlers, and so they destroyed him whenever possible. Oh, no, no, you too. At one time, the wolf was one of the most widespread animals in North America. And use baby but now you'll only spot him occasionally, far back in the woods. Oh, no, not you too. His keen sense of smell tells him somebody's around. Oh, no. Sure enough, it's a badger looking for a nice spot to dig his new home. This might be a good spot if it wasn't for a grouchy neighbor. That badger's a close brother to the weasel. He can fight like a weasel, too, for both. This big bad wolf is doing a pretty good job of provoking. like the old gray wolf has finally gotten the hint. This Home building badgers like their privacy. Oh no. When winter comes to the Northwoods country, the wildlife world dramatically changes. While some animals hibernate and sleep in their dens or burrows, the lively ferrets venture out to explore the snowy woodland. Hey, what's he doing out? What? Oh, I don't know. He's freaking out. He do. The ferrets are attacking him too. Looks like somebody else is up and around today too. Oh, what the fuck are you talking about? Don't you know? This is most alarming. He's not just like a Jew. You with wings.
and he figures this is his own private. Oh no, they're gonna fight and they're gonna tangle. Oh no, we're gonna tangle. We're gonna tangle. discover the wonders of wildlife here in Canada. The industrious beaver has been building dams since before man could build a fire. The dam is his refuge from natural enemies in the cold of winter. Maintaining the dam is a never-ending job for the beaver. Yet he seems to take great pride and joy in his accomplishment. Please, no, no. Inquisitive by nature, the young cougar is fascinated by the busy beaver. Out of the water, the beaver looks like he might be an easy prey, but he's no coward. And he can get pretty upset when someone interferes with his construction program. Question is, can one angry beaver handle two cagey mountain lions? Well, our little friend has one thing going for him. All that tree cutting keeps his long incisor teeth sharp as a chisel. <laughs> stubborn males are getting their heads together. Oh. Well, whatever those guys are up to, they're sure noisy. Oh. And that skull-cracking commotion